to prepare a wonderful and a Ghanaian authentic jollof so guys these are our ingredients we have the green pepper here we have all the vegetables you can see it's on the on the bowl the plates we have the uh, green beans green pepper and our carrots we also have the onion pepper and a little bit of what garlic we have our chicken here yeah that's our chicken we have the fresh tomatoes also here we have the salmon the tuna we call it down here we call it uh, our Hawaii yes and this is our our curry powder and we have a kitchen kitchen and rosemary salt oil and our tomato what puree that we are going to use to the food and we also have two cups of what rice here so guys stay tuned and wait for the stew to get started Okay guys, now we are going to blend our pepper and onion and garlic too, so we will be right back. Okay now guys, I'm putting in the blend pepper and then the onion. Guys, let's wait for five minutes for it to be cooked very well. Okay, guys, now you can see the way I still listen to you. Oh, it's too long as I wait. My calling me Jane and make a complaint to see you. Hey, Shaman, this is because of the garlic now. We just fry, you know. Any green pepper, more but the seed of the green pepper that I add to blend with the pepper. And my aroma is very great. Okay guys, just like what I said, today we are doing everything in a local way. You can see say, we have a, a what do you call it, JNA, which is called a onion. We have garlic, we have ginger, we have rosemary down there, Intimate me, baba bechi. I'm coming to ground it. I'm grounding them together. Now maybe a steam me chicken, no? A very good and a very tasty aroma. I'm a very, 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 very tasty good and so so. That is why I'm using all these things together. Mm -hmm. So now I'm putting in my Simon. Simon, you and some of me Simon, So now the one minute is over. I'm putting in my tomato puree. In the tomato puree, may come And also make sure you move for two minutes. Said the very There is a, a little bit of sweetness in this tomato puree, so I want that sweetness to come down a little bit. That is why I make sure you move for two minutes before adding the water. So guys, after two minutes, we'll be right back. Okay, so see guys, you can see say you cheat at the end of it. Come on, I to you and him. To see, I made it tea. I did a good chicken. No, I've been my chicken that tastes very good. After putting it on the chicken, I will add salt and a little bit of water to it so that I will put 
the chicken on fire already to cooked. Well, I mean, so I cry who her everywhere in the Toyoano. I mean, so I cry who her more now. May she be a good season, no home. Any chicken now, yeah, you know. Yeah. So now we are coming to put the chicken on fire for 15 minutes. Okay, now guys, you can see that still no, yeah, you're ready already. But I was saying you're tomato blend, tomato fresh tomato. No, it's now I'm adding the fresh tomato, the blend one. I'm now adding it. As for me, I like eating onions a lot, so I'm adding another onion to it. So see, guys, you can see so the stew is ready. So now we are coming to add the rice. Yeah, our stew is ready. I put in a little bit of sauce just to have the taste. So now I get the taste that I wanted. You can add your own spices. Any spices at all that you used, you can add it to it. To the stew. May add it two cups of rice. So I'm coming to add one and a half cup of water. It depends the quantity of rice that you are cooking. Maybe you would like to cook three cups or four cups. It depends. It depends the rice. So that now I'm adding two cups of water to the rice. Okay, now I'm adding my salt. Yeah, I'm adding the salt. So they say about the katasu for 25 minutes. If it's 25 minutes, we will come and check whether the rice is ready or not. So guys, stay tuned and wait for 25. I was seven one a timi bean here in the Uba Ba Uba self jollof a bean come upon Uba Ba Musia. Not when you hold in between the rice, not when you hold it inside. Not when you use rubber to cover it. Easy rubber like this. A very clean rubber. You have to wash the rubber before using it to cover it. Then you use the rubber to cover it. Then you bring the paste in here. So these are the vegetables. I'm coming to add them. Okay, now guys, you can see that the chicken is ready, so we are coming to fry it. Okay, now we are putting in our frying oil. I wish I saw a hand and cow, but see a Romano, or better than any saint in that air ban. A very, very good. Wow, wow. You can see, said the Jolofness, or ye mark, 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 Mm -hmm. 
Hello guys, now the jollof is ready. This is the way we prepare authentic Ghana jollof. So thanks for watching and always subscribe to Obapa channel. And keep watching. If you have any comment, just leave it down there. And you have any food you want us to cook for you, you can just write it down there. And we do exactly the way you want it for you. Okay guys, see you on our next episode.